And this drawing is particularly interesting because it bears the stamp of Sir Joshua Reynolds. When we are looking at drawings, we, we take all the evidence that is on offer, so to speak, the inscriptions on the mounts and, and obviously signatures where they might be genuine or not, but in particular the collector's marks, which are very often a benchmark of quality. I would say, though, that it's interesting that uh, someone like Reynolds, or indeed a predecessor, Sir Peter Lely, did not apply the collector's stamps to the drawings themselves. They were applied by the executors of their estates when sales were being organised as one way of trying to safeguard against theft.